Wading into War, Chapter 13 I strolled to the rear of the joint and tried to give an air of someone in complete control. The phone was hanging by its cord. I put it to my ear. This is Wade. Gardner's voice crackled through the static. Holy smokes, Wade! What the hell have you got me into? I slid into the booth and closed the door. Through the grimy little window, I watched as Berman and Lillian talked. I wanted to be in two places at once. Tell me what you found. Gardner strung a bunch of words together, among which were Germany, Nazi bastards, camps, and murder. That last one got me. Hold on, Gardner. Slow down. Take it from the top. Tell me what you found. Did you have any trouble getting it to the mailbox? I heard deep breathing on the other end of the line. Not really. The owner looked at me funny, but I spoke all four of the Hebrew sentences I knew. Must have convinced him because he walked around to the rear of the mailbox and got the one thing that was in there, a manila envelope about an inch thick. Across the restaurant, Berman said something that made Lillian smile. Gardner continued, I opened it right then and there. Inside were pages and pages of notes, some typewritten, others handwritten. He paused long enough that I thought the line was dead. And there were photographs. His voice changed when, when he said that. Of what? Bodies, he said, giving the word some weight. Bodies of people murdered by the Germans. Murdered, I tell you. Hey, Gordon, let me ask you this. How do you know they were murdered? Come on, Wade. I'm a reporter. I've seen my share of stiffs. I know what dead bodies look like, especially when they're piled together like logs for a fire. The notes in the envelope. You read any of them? Enough to know the gist. This Rosenblatt guy was on to some sort of mission. He didn't say for whom. There are lots of references to a Samuel Saxton and much more. It seems to me like he was looking for this guy, but then stumbled upon campsites filled with murder for dead bodies. I pondered for a moment. So I've got two people dead because... Two? He sputtered. Who else? Don't know his name, but he nearly killed me. You kill him? I gazed out at Lillian. No, not me. A friend. Well, I think she's a friend. The she's in your life are almost always your friends, he said, a little more of his non-excitable nature returning to his voice. Funny, I said. I've got two people dead because of this. Army guys picked me up earlier tonight, and I've got Nazis chasing after me and Miss Saxton. Oh, she has a name, does she? Quiet. Tell me what's so important that everyone's after this envelope. His voice strained with incred incredulity. Are you serious? Rosenblatt uncovered a war crime, and he has the evidence. What the Nazis are doing is illegal. Gordon, the whole damn war is illegal, and might I remind you that we're not in it? Yet, he said. Over the line came the sound of rustling papers. Remember the Zimmerman telegram? I sighed. Gordon loved history. I only knew the history I lived. No, I pulled out my notebook, ready to jot down comments if they prove relevant. I sat on the little seat, turning my back to Berman and Lillian. Gordon started. The Zimmerman telegram was intercepted by the British back in 1917. It was a message from Germany to Mexico asking the Mexicans to attack America if Uncle Sam went to war. The Kaiser promised the Mexicans he would help them reclaim all the territory lost during the Mexican-American War in 1848. It was one of the factors Wilson used to convince the public to go to war. I sighed again. How does this pertain now, in 1940? Damn it, Wade, don't you see? When I publish this stuff, the notes and the pictures, it'll be like that. It'll be one more notch we can use to stop the Nazis. Wait a damn minute, I said, my voice loud in the small compartment. You can't publish that information. All hell would break loose if that stuff saw the light of day. It's the light of justice that I want to shine. You know the Nazis are wrong, and FDR is just sitting by waiting while Hitler carves up Europe. You want a world that's safe for democracy? Pretty soon, if this keeps up, we'll be on the only democracy left. That's all well and good, Gordon, 
but you simply cannot publish that material, no matter what it is. There are some scary men looking for it, killing people over it. In my frustration, I issued a threat. If you publish it, they'll come after you. You don't know that. Yes, I do. They've already tried to kill me. In fact, one would have succeeded if Miss Saxton hadn't shot him. He paused. What? What happened? Never mind that. It's done. In fact, I've got Berman right now trying to pin the shooting on me. But we're talking about that evidence and the pictures. You simply can't go to the press with it. Gardner said, You forget something, Wade. I'm already the press. He hung up.